welcome back to another brand new video. Today we are doing the retail review of the brand new 2020 Tops Chrome. This doesn't actually come out until tomorrow, but it has been popping up on shelves all across the country at Targets and Walmarts. If you just look on eBay, it's littered with listings of this product from flippers buying these blaster boxes for $22 and selling them. They're trending at $43 per blaster box. This is a very, very hot product. We're going to open these three, tell you which one I think is the best um, bang for your buck. And also, we're going to give away this pack to you guys. All you have to do is be subscribed, like the video, and leave a comment. And we will choose one random participant to win that pack in tomorrow's 2020 Topps Chrome live stream. I have literally probably almost 100 hobby boxes to do lots of people wanted to buy into this uh, everyone's chasing Luis robert and all the great rookies from this set so make sure you check out our live stream tomorrow so without further ado let's get to ripping these boxes open we will start with the value pack first now the value pack is 11.98 so one thing i noticed with tops chrome is they raised all of the prices and you'll see it on all three of these different uh, products as uh, compared to other releases this year. So I'm wondering if maybe the demand, the extreme high demand that um, we've been seeing for cards is going to uh, have all of the re releases raise in price. We'll have to see what happens with 2020 archives in a week or two and see if these prices are up there for that as well. So you get 17 cards. It's 70.5 cents a card. There's three Chrome packs in here with four cards a pack. Also... You get five exclusive pink refractor parallel cards. So without further ado, let's open these up and I will show you the odds. It's kind of tough to fit on the screen, so I will put it there and you can pause it. And people always ask for the no purchase necessary stuff as well. So we'll put that up there really quick. Now let's get started with this brand new product. You can see... It is a New York flavored product. You've got Alonso and Judge on the front cover. Judge, of course, is on fire. He's up to, what, seven home runs now in this shortened season. All right, here we go. Four cards per pack. We have Seth Brown leading things off. We have Michael Conforto. There's Miguel Rojas. And we have, an, oh, man, Abraham Toro Refractor. Man, I was really hoping that that would have been your Don Alvarez, but unfortunately it is not. Um, just like the Hobby Box of Series 2, this is a personal break for me as I am looking for Luis Robert uh, to put in my PC. There's Bruce Star Gratterall, rookie card. Then we have Jose Urania, Dustin May rookie. Nice one right there. And, of course, it is another Abraham Toro. All the good rookies are in here from Series 1, like Gavin Lux, Aristides Aquino, Jordan Alvarez, Dustin May, Jesus Lusardo. And then you can also add the best ones from Series 2 in as well. Of course, headlined by Luis Robert. Here we go. Last pack of the base chrome we've got nico horner rookie card which is a nice one jose ramirez there's oscar mercado and a nice juan soto refractor is our last card 1985 style design so here's the chrome pack of the pink refractor parallel cards maybe we can get lucky with this we shall see looks like there's a security tag there we'll just take that and toss that aside and use that later for something We've got Freddie Freeman leading things off. There's Nikki Lopez, Gio Rochela, and Clayton Kershaw. And, oh, Brand Crawford. I forgot. Five cards instead of four is the last one right there. So that is our value pack. Not a very good value pack in terms of rookie cards. I bet you the value pack I'm giving away is going to have a lot of good stuff in it. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, guys. Been giving a lot of stuff away this week. Uh, here we go. Next, we have the hanger box. This is fifteen ninety eight. You might think hanger box is fifteen ninety eight. Weren't those always like nine ninety nine at Target or ten forty eight at Walmart? No, they definitely raised the price here. Uh, one thing I noticed that's new about the hanger box is they're giving you some coupons and a five card exclusive preview pack of Topps Gallery, which usually comes out oh, around the holidays like December. And it looks like they're also promoting National Baseball Card Day, which is coming up in just a couple days on August 8th. So I didn't really know how to figure out the price per card here. You get 25 cards with those gallery previews. That's 63 cents, which is a great card. 
But there's the gallery previews, of course, not worth nearly as much as the base cards, especially the rookie cards of Chrome. If you just go by the 20 Chrome cards, you're looking at 79.9 cents per card, which is worse than the 70 cents for the value pack. So if you're just into the Robert rookie card hunt, you may want to go with the value packs, which are these guys that we just opened. That's the giveaway. So here we go. Let's see what we can find. Here are all of the odds for the hanger box and the no purchase necessary if you'd like to pause that. And let's see what we can find in this one. I really just want to get one Chrome Robert for my collection. There's all of the packs and uh, the preview pack for galleries at the back. So there's that. Same kind of deal. Four cards per pack. Let's see what we can find. Nice 1985 Shohei Otani. Pete Alonso Gold Cup on the front. Jake Rogers. Willie Adames. And there's that Otani. Nice refractor for pack number one. Here we go. Pack number two. Hey, we've got the Aquino. That's good. My first uh, top rookie. I've been waiting to find one, and it is a refractor. Very, very nice. Aristides Aquino refractor. That one's going in my sleeve pile. All right, so one good rookie card so far. Like I said, I'd really like to find the Robert. There's Chris Paddock, Travis Dermott, rookie card, Alberto Mondesi, and a nice Kyle Lewis freshman flash refractor. That's a nice one. He's off to a good start this year. All right, here we go. Next, we've got a Pete Alonso, 85 on the back. There's Colin Moran, another guy off to a good start with five home runs to start the young season. Alex Bregman, not off to a good start. Him and Altuve have scuffled the first two weeks, hitting right around 200 or below. Of course, a lot of you are thinking, uh, yeah, no surprise there. There's Dansby Swanson and a nice Pete Alonso refractor as well. Like that one a lot. Lots of cool stuff in this video, looking at Chrome for the first time and also getting a sneak peek at the brand new 2020 gallery. Here's our last pack before we go to the blasters, Gio Rochella Refractor again. All right, so before I get to the blaster box, let's take a look at the preview pack. I can see off the top we've got a Ronald Acuna Jr., which is nice. There's also $5 off a monster box and $2 off a value box. That's pretty nice, right? Uh, so we have Ronald Acuna Jr. leading things off, and these all have the National Baseball Card Day emblem on there. There's Fernando Tatis Jr., Aaron Judge, quite a pack, Christian Yelich, and Bryce Harper. So five mega stars in the pack. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure exactly uh, how many players are in this set. Obviously, they're not going to show off every single card in the set. Uh, looks like they gave us cards two, three, four, five, and six. And then, of course, the Topps Gallery coupons will definitely come in handy. The monster boxes are usually around $37 to $40. And, of course, the value boxes, I'm guessing they mean a blaster box by that, which would be obviously uh, $20. Bucks. Now, speaking of blaster boxes, everybody, we have our blaster box. This is what I've been waiting for. There are 32 cards in the blaster box, which works out to $0.68 cents per card, which is the best deal overall. Um, it, however, you can notice, again, it's $21.98, which is more than blaster boxes used to be. Uh, we're all used to pay $19.99 for blasters, but with uh, the high demand in, for cards, it was inevitable that something would have to give. When demand goes up, guess what happens? Prices go up. It's simple economics. Um, I guess... Given the choice of that or them just printing way more cards and keeping the prices the same, um, that might be a necessary evil, unfortunately. These are trending right now on eBay, by the way. I mentioned it before for $43 a box. So I am a little bit afraid that we may have the 2020 Bowman Saga uh, take two here with Chrome with people just uh, buying them and flipping them like crazy. Uh, of course, the Bowman uh, Blaster boxes have come down a little bit. They're about $30 now at least, 30 to 35 But anyway, let's get started. We have this big stack of cards here. There are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs. So 28 cards there. And then we have our bonus sepia refractor cards. Let's find a Robert. Come on. So we start things off with Oscar Mercado, which is a nice one right there. We've got an Ichiro. Total zone runs above average and Lourdes Coriel Jr. 
when I did my hobby preview of Series 2, I was able to find myself one Robert. There's a Brian Reynolds. He's off to a terrible start this year. Justin Verlander, of course, with the injury concerns. Future stars Mike Yastrzemski and Hunter Dozier as well. Next pack up, got a Michael Baez. There's Glaber on the front. Uh, Mike Yastrzemski again. Ramon Laureano refractors. A nice one making a nice catch. And Michael Baez. So we've got four packs left and then the sepia. Let's see what we can find. There's Trent Grissom who's been off to a nice start for those Padres. Um, like that card a lot. Jacob deGrom, Shohei Otani, and... Aaron Nola is card number four. Four packs left. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Hope you're enjoying this sneak peek of Topps Chrome. Here's a refractor of Juan Soto. Nice card right there. And we have a rookie card of Jordan Yamamoto. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button once again and get yourself in on this pack. We'll give it away tomorrow. Um, just make sure that you are on public. Your settings on your... your um, page or set to public so that I can actually see your subscribed. I want to make sure it goes to a subscriber. There's Yu Chang rookie card. That rookie card emblem always kind of blends in to his shoe. Uh, one of the better rookies, not really off to a good start this season, but hasn't really had too many at-bats to prove himself yet. There's Trevor Williams. We've got a Tyler Glass now, who you all know that I love. And Anthony Santander is the final card there. So two packs left. Still no Luis Robert. Where is he? Andrew Heaney leads things off, and Brandon Lau, Pete Alonso, Refractor, and Andres Munoz. Here we go, last shot at a Robert. Again, tomorrow we'll be opening Hobby Boxes, which, believe it or not, Hobby Boxes are selling for like over $300 a box. I think they're $300 right now on Steel City and Blowout, uh, which are the biggest distributors out there. And uh, after tax and shipping, you're looking about, I forget if it's $321 or $326, but they are super Super hot right now in terms of demand. So here we go, last pack. We've got Christian Walker, Matt Feist, rookie card. Come on, Robert, Whit Merrifield, and I did not get him, Orlando Arcia. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. This stack of cards will go in my PC. I hope you enjoyed uh, this early sneak peek of 2020 Tops Chrome. Make sure you check out our live stream tomorrow. I'll have a live stream for you, and also I'll have a hobby box um, I am not able to get the hobby boxes a day early, unfortunately. Uh, so I'll pick those up tomorrow at the uh, UPS store and then we'll open them up as soon as I get one um, for a new release preview. And in, in that video, we'll talk all about the cards you can find, how many cards are in the set, and so on. And there'll be two autographs per box. So look for that tomorrow along with the live stream. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Thursday. And I will see you all tomorrow for the live stream. Good night, everybody.